So we back with another video and today we got y'all boys with the current gen takeovers for NBA 2K23 and yeah we're gonna be going over every single takeover in this video if there's anything that you disagree with or that you would say should go up lower what you think the best takeover is all that can be put in the comments down below make sure to like the video though help subscribe if you're new all this stuff does help and I really would appreciate it without further ado no more talking let's hop into it no! Let's hop into it. Now we're going to be doing the takeovers. We're going to be ranking the takeovers for 2K23, man. 2K23 right now is not in a great state. It's not. It's not. But we are here to rank the takeovers for Season 5 for the current gen, the next gen, and the takeover perks. So let's just go ahead and hop into it. We got the same tiers as always. Broken top tier usable. Let's just hop into it. Glass screen or takeover. Uh, if y'all want to say y'all opinions on... Where stuff should go, y'all can do that. Actually, actually, before we even go too far, let's not even, I'm not even finna get trolled. Let's just go ahead and mute this real quick. I ain't even finna get trolled by y'all, I ain't gonna lie. But let's go ahead and hop into it. Glass Hunter. Glass Hunter is easily like a top tier takeover because like it's the only takeover that get plus 10 to rebounding. All right, all right. Anyways, uh, Glass Hunter takeover. Uh, uh, Glad, glad me to take. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Got bro, kind of got me stumped a little bit. I can't lie, that was crazy. I, I muted it, but that was crazy. Uh, but yeah, glass here to take over top tier for sure. T plus 10 to rebounding when it comes to all the in game benefits, all that stuff. Definitely gotta be top tier. Lockdown takeover that's another top tier. Um, you're gonna get pretty much second best plus 10s in the game. You're gonna get a lot of great in game benefits. Um, I think on current gen. It's a lot easier to get steals when you have lock take, but I think that's also because of the plus tens. But yeah, lock take is definitely a top tier takeover. I don't know if it's better than glass, but I'm not ranking it like that. I'm gonna do it just like I did the badges, which will be dropping tomorrow in a video at the time of me streaming it. I don't know when this video will be dropping for the takeovers. Um, play take, play take, play take is good, but I say it's usable. Um, any person that shoots off your takeover pretty much instantly has like sharp take um you can take people's ankles and make people fall with play take on current gen um the, the plus tens aren't that crazy because you pretty much get the same if not better plus tens as a slasher so yeah play take is usable i would say post take is a broken it's the only one i would say is like easily broken needs to be patched it's the only one i would say that rim take Rim take is a is a top tier takeover. People was killing me last time for only putting it usable. I say it's top tier now for sure. And last season I should have put it because like, or last season wasn't as needed because they buffed the paint defense. But like towards the end they kind of nerfed it again. And I think it's back in that 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 period where you definitely want it and need it stuff like that. So yeah, top tier. Sharp take, sharp take in my opinion. I say. It's definitely top tier. I'm just thinking if it should go in broken. Nah, I don't think it needs to be patched. It is probably one of the most overpowered ones, but I don't think it's in broken. I think it is top tier like these other ones. The takeovers, I always say this all the time. Takeovers in comparison to like badges is way more balanced. Way more balanced. It's not even like close. But yeah, sharp is definitely top tier. Plus, it's the only way you can get plus 10 to three pointer. It's gonna help you shoot from way deeper. It's really just broken. It's just that simple. Shot creator takeover. Shot creator takeover, in my opinion. It has some good benefits. You can take people's ankles. It's not going to be like making people fall, but you can take people's ankles. It's going to make you a lot better at fading, stuff like that. So, I would say, I would say shot creator takeover is, only thing I say is the plus tens aren't really that crazy. It's kind of like Playmaker. It has good in-game benefits, but I say it's usable. Everything can't be a top tier takeover. To be honest, so yeah, slasher that's definitely top tier. Probably the most actually, slasher probably is broken on current gen, to be honest. And that would probably be how I ranked them. Slasher has the best plus tens, the most plus tens. Um, in game benefits is crazy. We all know how people want to rim run and stuff like that. So yeah, I definitely would say slasher post score are the only two broken. Um, rest of the top tier. You can really argue both for usable or top tier. That doesn't mean those are terrible badges. Those are just not as good as the other badges. Materialist. 
That simple. That's why I would rank it. But yeah, that's going to be the current gen takes. If you guys want me to do the same video for the next gen, we want me to do the takeover perks and all that type of stuff dedicated for their own videos, all you got to do is like the video. All you got to do is subscribe to me. Turn on notifications, share this video. Anything that will help. Without further ado, though, it's your boy Fitz. And I, man, man. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah!